Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, it shit's real, we talk about it. Yo, I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the New representative. and as always, I got my man with me, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do? LB, aka a lot of dub balls, Jesus, show the work to God, go artists, Chapel Kings forever, coming soon, we here, Monday Night Live, Ring Game Radio.com, in the building. Boxing talk, let's go. Movie reviews, let's go. We it. Yes, sir. Ringing in the house forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, what's fly? It's Conscious Pod, the West Coast Avenger, preparing for liftoff. Ringing radio, let's fly. Let's get it. I thought you were going to remix it and try to do peas and Thought about it. Let's get it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. who's, who's, hold on. Let me. Who, who's banned from the crack alley? Hold on. I mean, who, <laughs> who's banned from the damn bistro? What, 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 what are we banning niggas from tonight? Banning like? niggas from um, people that's calling the championship fight bad matchmaking. Facts. Yeah, Facts. we banning them niggas. Facts. Them, them niggas, all them niggas are banned from the soup kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> if you want gravy on your fries you specially gotta go nigga. <laughs> yeah absolutely yo straight up and down but we'll, we'll get more into that though but yo I got my other man with me I'm gonna let him introduce himself you already know Rome top 5 like Jay Z Kanye who else they had on that fucking list who was the top 5 in that list nigga I don't know Drew, Drew, Jay Z Nicki Minaj, who the fuck they had? Uh, I, I'm bullshit. To, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, nigga. Well, I'm the other top five. We're good. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm more like a complex top five. <laughs> you know, yeah, dude, yeah. That so that's Rome for you. Rome top five. You know, what I'm saying like he, you know, he thinks he's above Jay Z and Lil Wayne and shit. So, but you know. Hey, you know, niggas can dream. I right? mean, he got some unreleased shit that you know. What I mean, that you know. You know, if niggas want to make the argument, I let it stand. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's the problem, my nigga. It's unreleased. You and I know that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit dropping next year, nigga. Like, let, let, let us just get through this year. God damn. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I, nigga, I, I, we going to feed the streets. Yeah, I, I, hey man, I, I got, I got, I got co-signed if it, if it, if it, you know, if it gets to the point where we want this nigga to release his music, bro. Yeah, that's you know, just really? detox. That's just a detox album for real. Yeah. <laughs> they go so like, well, you know, it's not like the executives are blocking it. It's just you know, the artist hasn't found time to put it out. Like, you know, we allocated the budget. This is that. Like, damn, look at right, all right, all right. <laughs> but we'll, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, room top five. We live here, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, you know, obviously you now boxing was, you know, was boxering. You know, that's a word, but I'm going to make it a word this this past weekend, man. Again, it, was, it, it wasn't no sweet science in, in there. It was some. No, 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 there was no, there was no sweet science at all in that, in that little three fight card, you know. Yeah, the, 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 there was like motherfuckers that just, they, they had gloves, they had wraps on, and some of them had bad actors. Some of them came from poverty. Some of them are still in poverty, but they all came to fight. That's the problem was. Some of it wasn't. It wasn't a religious holiday, so you couldn't blame nobody. So yeah, man. You know, you know. We'll get to it, man. One fifty four again has a new again has a new star, new player, and his new name sheriff. Is, yeah, new sheriff, and his name is Bakram Murta like Murta uh, Murtazalea. There we go. There we go. Murtazalea. There we go. I had Bakram Murks your ass. Murks. You know what I mean. Or, or, or as people would try to call him, murder layer. <laughs> murder layer. <laughs> and in truth, background murder gram. That's crazy. Because as I'm listening to the name, I'm like, I'm gonna start calling that nigga murder. Murder, 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 murder. Yeah, that's, that's murder, 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 murder. That's hard. Murder, murder, murder. I don't believe you. Murder. <laughs> I'm gonna need another one though. I mean, that was it was crazy. It was a big upset, you know, because it was a big upset. But we want to see it wasn't the upset that niggas thought about like that, bro. Like, nah, like, like, like it wasn't a huge upset. I mean, like, this was a up. It was only an upset due to the fashion of it. But I didn't. I don't see this as like a true 
like upset. <laughs> like it's yeah, upset. Cost you, you know, Costas in, in the stand, dad, estra- somewhat in strange dads in the stand for the first time ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Like right, every time your dad you. see you, you getting your ass whooped. Like, good God. Like. <laughs> Yeah, though, they're, they're, I mean, I mean, there have been some. We, we said this was a, look, honestly, I feel like Ring Gang, the only niggas who was kind of more on the money about this fight than anybody else, because we all saw this as like a potential fight of the year, a shootout. Yeah, it's it 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 definitely a 50 50. And, 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 and like, like I said before, like, you know, if for those who don't, are not familiar, I mean, obviously, Murtaza Leif, or Murda, as we're going to call him. You know, he won his belt off uh, off a guy that's not that's that's never been killed before. He's given him a lot of top fights. He's facing a hard time, and he did it on Ramadan. And you know, so dude had dude didn't drink no type of water or he nothing. Wasn't fully, he wasn't here. fully, you know, you know, yeah, he was, yeah, he was hungry, like for a lot for a lot of different reasons. You know, what I'm saying, and <laughs> spiritually, spiritually, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, and, yeah. and dude won no, his belt in a back and forth war, and finally knocking Koke out. And then of course he had to go into surgery because I think he had an injured hand or some shit like that. And then Tim Zhu obviously suffered one of the worst cuts I've seen in, in in a long time and surrendered his belt in a bloody war to Fandora, who I'm sure will never, you know, will never enter the ring again in, in with his health meter in green. So it's like after that after that fight. So yeah, so he basically, you know, it was set up because Zhu means a lot to Australian boxing community for, and we'll get more into that too. So because of the social situation, they're like, okay, we'll we'll get let's let's get him the belt murder, murder you know, we'll let him face murder and then okay, well, let's see if we can get the I he can get the um the IBF belt and then we can go about some business and make some Crawford fights, make a or make or make Ortiz fight or some fight like that. But uh murder he he came in the ring that night and blew and took a look at the script and said, "Fuck that," you know. Like I said, you know, and yeah, and basically what you saw three rounds. All it took was three rounds. And Tim Zhu, I mean, I, I mean, we all thought you know, Tim Zhu had a pretty, has a pretty decent chin. He's only been down once when uh, by by Terrell Gasha, but Gasha can actually punch when he actually feels like punching, you know. But yeah, he but got he let his hands go. He got hurt. You, yeah, you know? exactly. But this one was just like. You know, Tim to that, you know, Tim, you know, if you see him fight, is he's balls to the walls with this offense. Dude will do will try to air you out. But the problem was murder was ready for that shit. And, and but this is the thing, man. Like, let, let's not, you know, bypass Tim Zoo's horrendous defense. This nigga defense has been been trash for a long time. I know I've been calling it out from the get-go. It just he has other things in his repertoire that work yeah. for him. You know, I mean, you were more vocal about. I mean, I, obviously it's it's obvious, glaring, but like you were very vocal about that. You know, I mean, because like, again, I we you know we we kind of like, some of his, his positive attributes at least outweighed it. You know, because like you're not 2023, he had the best 154 run. You know, but I guess looking back in hindsight, I mean, his styles make fights, but that was brutal. That was something like yeah. Now yeah, I, I mean, his styles make fights, but defense is defense. Like yeah. Now you should never to... get your ass whooped like that, bro. Now I gotta learn how to spell this guy's name right and pronounce his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I told you, man. Like this was, and, and defense was my biggest difference between Virgil Ortiz and Tim Zhu. Like they're the same mold of fighter. They're the, from the same mold, but one guy moves his head, Perry slips. He more into what he's doing, and that's Virgil Ortiz. Like, well, when he wants to, I mean, yeah, 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 he yeah, wants yeah. To, he, he showed, still, he showed letters. I mean, in the bull trip fight, yeah, he got dropped a couple times, but he, he did, still hit, but he not, not he nowhere he near as dude does. He was out boxing when he had to. When he got hurt earlier, he was like on his back foot boxing, the jab was working. Yeah, I mean, he got more cool. layers. He could do like Tim Zhu. He's not gonna like you start beating Tim Zhu ass. He ain't gonna just switch up and say. I didn't right, realize IQ like, was as bad as it was. I mean, you know, like I know this to get in the wars, but like, yeah, he got. If he's not, if if it's, he's not the aggressor, I don't know what the fuck he's doing out there. If he's not like you know the guy that's gonna put it on pause, you know what I mean? I don't know. Because he can, he can't fight no other way. So even when he's hurt, he's up here just. Hands he's, still to, he's still trying to fucking yeah. What the fuck is that about? Like you heard no you're head hurt. movement. Like at least with Ortiz, he's so layers. He's like, okay, I got hurt. 
Let me let me jab my way out of this. Okay, I heard him. Okay, let me not just walk in there and let me move my head. Let me go at an angle, body shot. Okay, boom, work the jab to. The, and now I mean, it is there's some type of skill and purpose behind the movements. But with Zoo, it's just all right. Let me just go get him. Like like what's his what's the nigga from the Flintstones? The little just he be hitting shit. Bam bam. What's his, bam bam. Bam bam. Like this nigga just bam bam. The bam bam. He just go in there like. Like what the fuck, bro? Like move your head, jab, like faint, put put a little sauce on that shit. Yeah, and that's the thing too, because even as he got hurt, it's like it would it would have done good for him to at least clinch, which he didn't know how to do. Clear your head, like move around. Oh, oh you know what? I, he he inspired the undisputed game, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this is what y'all want, right? This is a boxing game with no clinch. You see how that shit look, right? That shit disgusting. Yeah, and, and, goddamn punch in the game, nigga. And it, it was just like, geez, like I mean, clear your head, like I mean, he was tricked because I think you know because he was like, you know what, I, if I if he was like, yeah, if I throw right, I'll find dude's chin, and then dude starts shorting up his punches. He did. And when he got shorting up his punches, that shit was like the jab was moving, the jab, the, the jab it, stopped too. It, it's so like he didn't recover after the first one. I mean, fully, right? Am I tripping? Or he didn't really fully recover after the first. Cause that, that reach advantage was so apparent. It felt like after that first one, he never fully recovered. And, yeah, and he obviously he kept getting hurt after. So that yeah, cause, yeah, cause he wouldn't clear his head. That was his problem. Yeah, he, 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 hmm. you know, the, the jab was hurting him. The left hook- That could have been stopped. That, that could have been stopped the end of the, the second round. That fight could have way been, yo, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. That ref was acting like he had like a, a third round parlay KO or some <laughs> shit. Cause nah, he was just thinking he was letting that. And you saw how he was looking, he was like, yeah, then, I, you know, he was the A side. You're trying to give Zulu, you know, you know, you couldn't. Nigga, that was, dude, that was like borderline, like, like y'all saw, like, y'all, y'all come saw on. Redman, right? Y'all saw Bradman talk about it, like how the referee gave, uh, how the the, the doctor, you know, checked on Zoo before he got, you know, they gave him too much time. Too they gave him a lot time. of time during that, you know, during that, um, you know, honestly, it, it hurt Zoo because it made the fight longer and make him take more punishment. Like all that shit was a disservice to Zoo, really. Yeah, cause cause, cause if they right. weren't beating him like the A side, once he would have got hurt the third time, they would have stopped it. Had been done. He could go on with his career. But now, you you put it to where like he needs a whole two year redemption arc to get him come back. That was a very brutal ass whooping. Yeah, like it, funny thing too. It was like, yeah, it, was like, it, 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 it was like it was Tim's corner to actually throw in the towel, literally, because it's like. Because the referee wasn't interested. Like, the referee was like, okay, you know, let's just see what's going to happen. The ref was watching it. The ref was about to stop, but he was like five feet away from mm-hmm. stopping. He's like, yeah, uh, one more tiger uppercut. Screw up corner his ass, so attack. His corner's ass, dog. Like, you know, the Fedora fight was one thing. That was, you know, a mulligan, but your corner's ass. You, have, you need to switch your corner up if you're going to continue, man. I'm sorry. Because this nigga was taking every punch clean. And this is the thing. Zoo actually landed on dude. They was trading. And I was like... Oh, this he had a little uppercut before, he, before yeah. he died. He had a nice little uppercut. Mm-hmm. But it's like, dude ate them shits was like, them little like Scooby snacks. And he was like, all right, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I expected that. We're boxing. You know, you'll hit a, you'll get hit a few times. But here, take this and take that and that, that. This, this, like, <laughs> nigga was juicing him up with fucking every punch. Nigga landed uppercuts, smashes, hooks, ones, twos. Mm-hmm. God damn, what what didn't he land? Hey, he basically landed all he wanted to do. Like, well, that's it. Once he shortened up his punches, it, it, Zoo, like, Zoo was just like, he, he, he was just sitting up for every every punch in the book. Like, and nigga got beat from like, every range, mid range, yeah. <laughs> long range, close range. Yeah, it, it, it was it was it was a it was a brutal and it was a star making performance uh, for a guy that made a couple million or so in step asides, you know, for like the last three or four years as a Mando, because the, the unifications would have never happened if dude didn't you know take uh, the step aside. He was a Mando longer than Madrimov, you know, Virgil Ortiz, Tim Zhu. He was a he was a Mando. Like during Jamel's early undisputed run, you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. he was a longer. Yo, this thing, thing, hold on, was he a longer Mando than um Alvarez was for uh Stevenson belt at a uh, uh, light heavyweight? I mean, because that it was, was a long fucking time too. That was. Like, I mean, he finally got the Kovalev fight. 
Like, yeah, he was definitely yeah. like before Zoo and Madrim, like around the same time. But you know, obviously Zoo and Madrim have had a title run. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, that nigga name like, been out there for a minute, but it was always one of those like, probably long, longer Mando than you know before they got their shot. But and then Drew, Drew was the fucking Mando fucking before the pandemic. Like, yeah. Bro, <laughs> yeah. that's how long he been Mando. Yeah, 154 could be like that. Because re- remember, fucking Jamel, like the Charlos were Mandos, and it, they took them a, a while to get their shot. It's not Andre, like they got it right yeah. away. Uh, Andre, Andre, he was on 54. 154 is always like that, man. It's always so congested. Yeah. Like but it's like once you get it on, it's like it's like a, a domino effect. It's like, okay, everybody fight. Like, you get fade a fight. Fade, you fight. You got like, both those fights, I mean, you know, this was the ass whooping, but, you know, like the bullet truck fight was, was fire, you know, Dortiz. Yeah, that was like a fight of the year contender, but this was an ass whooping of the year contender. Like, so yeah, yeah, I, I, I gotta admit, I was completely off the mark on that one. I didn't, I, I did not think Ritter's Alley have had it in it. And his, I mean, oh, yeah, it, hell yeah, 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 nigga, because you were oh, talking yeah. mad yeah. shit, too. <laughs> me too, I, me I mean, listen, side listen, no, 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 I mean, like, listen. I I don't remember ever seeing him look like this. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, cause I I you know what it felt like? Uh, Murder's Alley of this weekend felt like the nigga at the pool hall that like acts like he's not good, and then he fights it, uh, then he faces the top guy in pool, and he fucking shows you, oh shit, he hustling me. That's what that I felt like I was hustling <laughs> watching that fucking fight. I felt <laughs> hustling. But like, like I knew he had like he was a, a counter and dude, like but I didn't I didn't. I have never seen his counters that sharp and that fast. I was like, oh my god, he's beating You've never seen him fight a nigga whose defense is bad as Zudo. And, and, the th- and the thing was like, that, the other thing was like, I was just so, I don't know what the fuck uh, Zoo was doing. Because like, the thing is like, Zoo has always been an aggressive guy. But usually, he's more controlled in his aggression. Whereas this time, he was just wild and like just right there for any 50 50 counter just opening himself up it's like okay i'm here just hit me with everything you got like not, his head never got off the line nothing like it was weird like i had never seen him that wild so i, I don't know what the fuck happened but, i mean i'm yeah. guessing either he was like you know what he i mean he might have been a little arrogant about it he might be a little full of himself he's like okay no he, he probably thought that dude was a little bit of a pushover you know and 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 like i said you know it, it cost him like you know you got, in, uh, let's say, you know, you can see the crowd was just like stunned by, you know, by what happened. And, you know, as soon as that fight is over, dude is talking about Alawa Wakma walking around screaming that shit loud in Florida of all places. The, he yelled that well, shit right, 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 right in the screen. That felt like a WWE promo. Like, that nigga was talking right <laughs> up in the camera. Alawa <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, worst, just, worst whooping at 154 since James Kirkland and Glenn Tappy. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I hate to do I hate to do any conspiracies and shit like that. I do wonder if maybe uh, Zoo uh, getting back with his daddy, uh, you know, he lost a little bit of sharpness, lost a little bit of roughness around the edge once he got back with his daddy. Oh, now now he back with his daddy, and it's oh mm. now you you performing like he this. fully got his dad's defense too because <laughs> really his daddy. daddy. <laughs> His daddy, yeah, like you talk about Birdman and Wayne or some shit. Like, yeah, before it was, before it was like you know, uh, what's my motherfucking name? Yada yada. Now you just like, oh, yeah, okay, I got my dad's approval. I'm good. Like, lost the, funny, no, the funny thing is, too, Tim had said like in the interviews before that he had learned that his father showed him some of his old Russian tricks. I was like, none of that shit was on display. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I was gonna say, what, what what tricks? I didn't see any of those fucking tricks that day. Nah, he, he showed him all the tricks from the fucking Vince Phillip fight. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Hell no. Yeah, we eat every fucking right hand in possible. That shit was crazy. Like, think about, but did they not eat a bunch of right hands in both fights? Every, no, not only every right hand, but every fucking left hook. Like every left yeah. hook was completely on the line. Yeah, but I mean, Costi is like the best one, you know, arguably one of the best 140 pounds ever. I mean, I know Zoo. But he is, had flaws, though. No, Zoo is carrying a name. Zoo is carrying a name well, but it's a big step back in Saturday. You know, you're carrying a name pretty decent compared to some Sun boxers. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, you yeah, I mean, like, he was, but god damn, like you can't, you can't get look like this, though, bro. Remember, he was like a step in the one favorite. That's a retirement. 
Yeah, yeah well, retirement, but you got to rebuild yourself. You got to go back and you know Australia. Yeah, he, he fought. He fought. Uh, he fought like Virgil Ortiz without all the good qualities that Virgil Ortiz had. <laughs> yeah. He just got completely asked. Shit, it's a good thing he didn't. It's a good thing he didn't end up facing Virgil because she actually no, probably would have been better if he fought Virgil. He would have got his ass whipped for more money. Like, yo, yeah, I, I was, I, I was, I was paused. I was tuning up Tim a little bit last week. Uh, I eat my crow, definitely. Yeah, yeah, y'all turn, y'all turn that shit the fuck down. Yeah, like, defense uh, be damned. Like Mur, uh, Mur, Mur, was plus eleven hundred for a KO on their on on Fanduel. Sweet Jesus, like yeah, like that shit was just like yeah. If I was to do, people would say upset, upset, and, and I'm like, and I was like, yeah, of course it can happen though. But it's like, god damn, it really did. <laughs> like someone, someone yeah. said, pretty much, yeah. If you bet the KO for that, you, you definitely, you definitely be able to yeah. flat rat. Every fight, though, people are, you're gonna see people are gonna, some people are gonna say upset. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I know what you mean. But this, this one really yeah. had, like, this had the vibe though. Right? It did have a vibe. It did have a vibe. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, then it's like you gotta. It's like people say, but no one wants to just look at the whole. This was a Styles make fight, and it's one where it's like, like they both gonna get at it, but the nigga with the cleaner defense is gonna be better. I, I mean, a ton of fights. I know it's not really a cherry. Obviously, like people argue Canelo Bavall, but was this a, a somewhat cherry gone bad? No. Oh, it was. It no. was, it was no. for a title. Absolutely it was not. for a title. I know. I know. I'm, just, I'm hearing that. I'm seeing that. This so. ain't like this ain't Canelo Bavall at all. Like no, mm. yeah. Like, like he, that was more deliberate. That was literally like, okay, it's a name. I could avoid other people at one sixty eight. That's dangerous. I could come up here. Well, you hear Tim's name. commentary. Tim was overlooking him, you know, a lot. He, he, yeah, he, I mean, he was overlooking. Yeah, I got that. He was, he was completely overlooking him. So he, I mean, I'm not saying he was a cherry, but the mentality, like King P said about rougher, you know, getting soft around the edges. Oh, I got, you know, I got the blood fight, you know, I got turkey in my back pocket, you know. Remember he was talking about, you know, keeping that turkey fight. Yeah, that's just a wrap now. See, this <laughs> yeah. kind of fucked up the game because now, now it's like it ruined, it didn't ruin shit if niggas is real. It made not, shit better, actually. But Not many niggas going to fight murder, murder. You know, not many are going to want to try to fight Buck. If, if they can, you know, I mean, I'm somebody will, of course. Tell them. Dude, look, look, not, you, you can't say that because, see, look, once Crawford fought Madrimov, and then Ortiz for uh, Boacek. All I these European it. names that motherfuckers don't know and can't pronounce, they're all viable names because they make good fights. They yeah. do. So it's like, you can't play this whole, well, you know, he's a nobody. Y'all use up that excuse when with the Madrimal fight, and now with this fight, nah, these are all good fights that if niggas just put the money behind and make an event, they'll do well. It's just, niggas gotta just man up and want the fight, because... I can tell you right now, I don't know if Crawford is going to want to unify as much as he wanted to before. <laughs> and I also know something else, too. The winner of Fundora and Spence is going to get thrashed. Like, you know, whoever whoever wins that fight. Spence yeah, is this is, all that unification shit is like, I don't, I don't know. Nobody yeah. want to I guarantee you Spence and are going to swerve uh, Bakker if they... Because they already... I mean, you know... Dude, what, I, nah, fuck that. At least they're, they're going to fight each other. When What's Crawford two, gonna do, nigga? That's what I wanna know. There's two belts, which you know, but they duck, clearly duck Bud with the negotiations to fight Spence for a WBO belt. Well, why don't Crawford get this belt? <laughs> hey, man, shit. I guess. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Hey, let, let Crawford get this belt. I, I, I want to see it, but you know, Crawford's not gonna want to take that. No, belt. no, no, no. He fought Mathramov. No, no, fight this guy too. I mean, just yeah. I mean, no, 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 no. Fight this nigga. You bad, right? You good, nigga? You an all-time great? <laughs> nah, fight this work, nigga. Or or fight Virgil Ortiz, nigga. Like, nah, we'll it's just not. Nah, there's a lot of heavy lifting at 154, and you don't get them glamorous names like that. You'll, you'll get the recognition. You'll get the money. But niggas want that Canelo superstar package. See, see I already see, like, it, Crawford probably going to end up they're gonna really try to get the Canelo fight or this nigga gonna retire because if he don't then fuck it I, I want to be proved wrong fight this motherfucker but I know how niggas be and I know how boxing is so I mean I know I mean probably or I mean the most likely fight that I would say happening would probably be the Ortiz fight for Crawford if and I'm, gonna... I'm happy as fuck if that happens yeah you know but so I, I... this is a win-win this makes him 
But but again, it shows. But then the whole thing. See how we're talking about this. One fifty four is the type of the type of division. Like like I said, there's no. We said it before. There's no fucking around at one fifty four. Like because you, you just don't know who is who, who is bubbling underneath the surface. That's, you know that's ready. That's ready to get their day in the sun. Like it's just zero top touches. If you want to be contender. You don't have to fight somebody that could KO you. Or you know that could that be just gonna fuck, could fuck you up. Yeah, it's just, that's, that's what it is, really. Yeah, one for, yeah, you can't fuck around one fifty four now and it's like said like Majimov, Murtaz Leyev, Crawford, those are the champions, and then oh no, excuse me, Fundora. You know you um, got Conwell Conwell and just needs a shot, you know? Conwell needs Conwell a shot. Needs you, got a Vegas, shot. you got Ortiz, you you got names, bro. Yeah, you, you, I mean, you, I mean, they can tell got, us. I mean, they can tell us. Oh my god, you know, he's nice. The one on the co-main, you know. He, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, yeah, you, you got Brandon Adams who actually knocked Bohatchuk the fuck out. You know, it's like you yeah. know, he's Rest yeah, like one fifty four. Rest in peace, one, yeah. One fifty four has has is like has all these. And they're all prime too. Like if you're faded, you're in trouble. If you're compromised, you're in trouble. Like this is not the division. Like you can't you, you cannot fuck around in this division right now because. And if you got a flaw that you didn't get, you know, worked out in the gym earlier in your career, and it's still there at the top level. Yeah, it'll probably be exposed in your next fight. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Crawford's kind of, I mean, Bakram's a big dude, like we mentioned, you know, six, you know, legit six foot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, Bakram, yeah, because Bakram could part, I think he could cut and one thing I said, I know, dude, the bones in his face were showing during that fight. Well, because I mean, I think you're traditionally 10 pounds, right? You can only be 10 pounds above weight, right? Yeah, well, yeah, for the second weighing for IBF. The second yeah, weighing but... for IBF, yeah. But he looked, man, that dude looked at least 175 or something. You know, come on now. <laughs> yeah, he didn't look big like that. He looked like a lanky ass Eastern yeah, European his, basketball his face, player. His, his face was all sunken in, though. So. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. That. yeah, yeah. Like, thought he was drained. It, it, people thought he was drained at the weigh and shit. You know what I mean, I mean, I mean, he, I mean people because now basically 154, he's better be light at 154. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, he he, he boxed a little cleaner than better be actually. He does. Like better be, they never looked that good with like the mid range inside like short punches, like with the combination just. But then again, better be, they never just have a nigga just jump into his punches like that. Like Zoo really made this nigga look. Maybe better than what he is. That's it. That's, that's the crazy. crazy. We need to see it one more time. I mean, that's why. I mean, I know it was a impressive performance, but it's you have to see him do it again. You know, I mean, you know, like let's see him against another. Again, elite. yeah, against one fifty four. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have to be. Yes, I mean, some consistency. Like, I mean, Zoo. Like before these losses, I mean, Zoo was consistently beating people down. So it's like you know he was knocking people out. Fuck. So it's like you know it could you know we just have to see. We, we'll, we'll judge him off that. But like I said though, he's been on those PBC. Um, dark matches getting like five hundred thousand dollars or some shit like that. Like dude has been grinding. Like he's, you know, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. I mean, he wasn't like, dude's been hungry. And like I said, now, 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 of course, PBC's got to find a way to push him or push him because you know he's he's the IBF. So who's probably next in line for him? Let's actually take a quick well. Look. Lubin said well, Lubin post fight said basically him and Tim Zoo are supposed to have a fight. So Tim, I mean, Lubin saying he might be able. You know, because Lubin's old the title shot. And yeah, I, and I, truthfully, I don't think Lubin will beat him. I don't Lubin know. <laughs> Lubin wants to do that. Ooh, <laughs> man. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah Lubin, hang, you don't think Lubin can hang a little bit? Yeah, uh, Lubin, yeah, Lubin, so Lubin's Lubin, a better boxer. He's he boxer. could. But see, this is the Lubin. thing. It's like, this, this, this is one of those guys where you got to have the complete package to go after him because... The dude got a chip. The dude hand speed is decent. He could box. He could. He got. He could punch. He's big like you got to have your shit together. Oh, like Lubin. Lubin defense and then the ring IQ sometimes falters a little bit. So it's like, eh. the but chin, he has the tools. And you don't have the, lo- the strongest chin. <laughs> Just yeah, he does and, not. And that too. His defense is better than Zoo, so I don't think he's gonna get caught as clean, but. But his IQ, his, his IQ leaves something left to be desired sometimes. Yeah, I don't know how yeah. you boxing that long. I mean, I mean, at that level, I get everybody has their faults, I guess. Goddamn. I mean, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, that's like that fun door, really. like that fun door fight, that fun door beat down that you got, Lubin got, is still makes me shake my head because he should have won that. He could have won that fight. He he, yeah, he had the edge on it. He like, like he, he, yeah. he stole success from the outside. With, with, which is see, to do. with Fundora, with Fundora, it's always the bad. Just the, the poor boxing IQ. 
Like, and that's that. That's what's always going to be his downfall. Like, he just sometimes will fight the wrong fight at the absolute wrong time. So and he got really looked against him. Ramos. Yeah, yeah, he got a gift. Like Ramos, like Ramos. Yeah. Well, Ramos didn't fight that good, but I thought he won that. Well, no, but you know, Ramos was clearly. Yeah. Ramos, you know, co- co- he had the co-main over Barrios versus Ugas, and they both. You know what I'm saying? Like he was supposed to kill this guy. He, 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 you know, he failed the assignment. I mean, they were supposed to both fight better than what they did. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. Lubin yeah. fought like a guy who didn't want to get KO'd and do just enough, and then Ramos fought like a guy who somebody said, "Hey, look, man, you got to take this guy to the distance, and you'll get paid." Like. Nigga was boxing like he's fucking Daredevil's dad or some shit. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, nigga, like, get on with it. Hold on, salute, um, ND copy. Shout out to Tapia, lol. And uh, Android, what it do? Salute. That was a compact yet impactful card for what it was. And background will eventually get the loop. And yeah, I agree on both counts. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, good good little free card. In our chat, it reminded me of a. Uh, um... A, a, you know, classic triple time show, you know, a triple header, a showtime triple header, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three good fights, you know, you see a couple, you see some knockout, you knockdowns, I mean, what, what more can you ask for, you know? And it's not pay per view. Like, it's it, free. I mean, it, you know, as long as you have it wasn't run, four hours long either. Like, you got right to it. Yeah, that pacing was like, I swear, it was like an hour and a half, and they're already at, you know, main event. You know yeah, I mean? like, yeah, it started at eight, and it was done by like 10 30. Yeah. Easy That's time. what you want, man. Like, I mean, even in like, Showtime, if you start watching boxing at eight, it needs to end around ten thirty. I mean, even Showtime never did that. No, no, we haven't had a show, even a regular show when it was on Showtime. We never got to the finish. Yeah, you know, that 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 show was funny because it just flew by quick. Because I was like uh, Saturday, I was trying to watch the Yankee game. I'm like, you know, I watch boxing and baseball, and I'm like, the fuck, this fucking shit flew by, and the the, the main event ended in like fucking four rounds. So like, goddamn, like, all right. Back, back to baseball, like yeah. okay, grand opening, grand closing, and then it's yeah, and then for and, like a motherfucker. Yeah, and then definitely shout out to the to the middleweight opener. Like middleweight needs a fight. Like I just game. watched that maybe two hours ago. I finally saw it. Yeah, good fight. Yeah, it, it was a hell of a fight. And truthfully, Tapia lost that fight. He absolutely did lose that fight. Dude, yeah, like, honestly, I feel like this was the American version of Wardley Clark. Like, how the fuck y'all get a draw out of that when a nigga drop you like what three times? Yeah, like this, I do this, got this. robbed. I felt like um, <clears throat> not um, the Matias should have lost. I felt like right. The fake uh, no, it's Tapia. It's Tapia. The Tapia. Tapia, Tapia, Tapia should have fucking lost that. Yeah, Tapia. The one that like, he made it a good it. fight, but damn. Yeah, like I, I, I so because you know because they were telling the the story about Savadra and how Uzkateki like brought him to the country and shit like that, and dude fought hungry, like dude knocked him down three times and he got knocked down once. But there's no way that this should his knockdown was the worst though. Yeah, and there's no way this should have been two draws. Like, are you kidding me? Like, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have to run that back. They'll probably put that as yeah. That, that was supposed to be a coming for the next Tim Zoo show. <laughs> and, and then the winning <laughs> car was for, and the winning car was for Tapia by two, which was also again. That's uh, there was the, the, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, and then and, 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 them niggas. Yeah, and the score and then, but the scoring took away, but the fight was great. Like it was an open, like you could the crowd loved it. Like shit was that shit was action for like at least eight of the rounds. Like it was hard action. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it had a good flow. Um my Android told me like like it was like a uh, fight of the year. I I, I see where you coming from. It could have been like, Feel it. The reason why, because I felt like it was missing the urgency and pace of a fight of the year, but it had the knockdowns and it had the big punches and the competitiveness. But it just, I felt like sometimes these niggas were just kind of like, <laughs> no, like, honestly, honestly, fruit honestly, off the tree, like, I mean, honestly, if Tapia kind of scored a, like a late knockdown and there was like a rally or something like that, then that probably would have given it the fight of the year. Like, it was close. yeah, yeah. You see, you get what I'm coming from, though, right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like like the ending, like it was, it was kind of anticlimactic after like eight rounds because I mean, even though you, they, they were beat up, like both of them were like really beat up, but yeah, like there had to be something dramatic in that late in in the late round, you know, especially the last round before to give it that. Yo, 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 and, and yo, real talk. 
Don't it seem like we're getting one too many draws this year? Pause. Yes, because it's fucking up my parlays. Like something serious. Like nigga, I'm, yeah, like, I'm, it, like it, how we getting all these draws? Like it, it ain't. It, these are like 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 come on, like yeah, because these ain't no true draws. These are like really like like y'all wanted to get this nigga a gift type of. Shit. I mean, I mean, I mean, if we're being honest. Most draws are tr- true draws. They're the I'll throw you a bone draw. Right. <laughs> yeah, but there's been draws that you could at least be like draws. Like mm-hmm. even better be Baval. If that would have ended in a draw, I don't think anybody would have jumped out the window. Like even I would have been cool with a, if that would have been a draw. Although I'd have felt better be should have won it. And I mean, like there's draws, then there's like. Fact like come on, draws. You you don't, you don't see where the draw was. Like think about it. Like Broner Jesse Vargas is more of a draw than goddamn Wardley Clark one is. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell me it's a draw when one guy gets scores a knockdown and he gets a point deduction against uh, uh against the other dude. Right. Like come on, at least. I mean, I know there's some people like, well, I thought Vargas kind of got Broner or, you know, Broner landed better. Yeah, it's a draw, I think, but th- this, nah, uh-uh, like. Yeah, no, it wasn't. This is like bad fucking scoring, like, it easily. And, and, but, and it looks like, but the fight, though, it, it looks like, though, if middleweight had more fights like this, maybe there'll be, there'll be a lot more interest in the, actual, maybe the, the division can actually be resurrected. But yeah, they, 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 they need more middleweight fights like that. Honestly, I think you just need a middleweight theme to card. Yeah. Where I you mean, can I really mean, just get like four or five of them dudes together and have them fight and shit and make it significant. I mean, truthfully, a middleweight tournament is probably long overdue and they probably need it. Like, you know, just to draw interest because draw interest for the champions. Trouble, yeah, they, 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 they absolutely need it because middleweight can, can be rebuilt if they have more fights yeah. like this. They got enough pieces to make something. Hold on. Um, salute Chris Brand. Uh, salute boys. Tim Zhu might be ruined. Give him like a Vlad. Stop. No, t- no. See, a that- Vlad Hernandez or the dude Telly uh, Ko. Good lord, what a beat. What yeah, a better t- fight. Yeah, tell us, you know. Yeah, tell us was patient. Like I, I, he actually showed a new wrinkle. Like because yeah. I mean because. Uh, Gonzalez was kind of like, was kind of, yeah, kind of he has, the, with the jabs. You remember that fight? I think a couple fights ago, where he couldn't cut the rim off the undefeated black dude. It was like on the Jake Paul card. He was he looked a little mid. Yeah, but, but he he's improved. You know, I mean, yeah, I, don't, he, he, I, I think you think he's further. Remember Yovis Gomez? You think he's further along than Yovis Gomez was? You know, kind of he kind of replaced him as the PBC mm. card putting Cuban. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I mean Gomez had the Yovis Gomez had the unfortunate. You know, they put him in the ring with a fucking spoiler. With the wrong boxer, yeah. Yeah, (laughs) and, you know, the spoiler got him out. And now, you know, the spoiler got him out the paint. So I'm saying, you know, tell us kind of replaced him as that Cuban, you know, the mini morale, you know, 154 morale type of thing. My my thing is, y'all overlooking what this nigga said, talking about put him in there with Vlad Hernandez as a comeback. (laughs) Hernandez is is kind of a, he's he's speaking of spoilers, he's the ultimate spoiler, Vlad Hernandez. He threw, dude, 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 like, like, yo, know, Chris Brand, like, did, did Tim Zhu do something to you? <laughs> now, now, this would be bad fucking matchmaking. <laughs> you think that would knock out Timmy? No, Honestly, bad. look, you know what? that could happen, but it's too much of an ass whooping right there. Look, look, you don't have a nigga with bad defense who just lost his last two fights go like against... That. Vlad Hernandez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely not. Like, yeah, I'm just no, bro. Like, uh, uh-uh, like, come on, like. Yeah, and here's, the thing, and here's the thing about matchmaking stuff like that. Man, let's do get somebody else first. Build his way up to Hernandez. It, exactly, because I mean, because I like that. Because like, Tim Zhu is not ruined. He still has like Tim Zhu can be rebuilt and he can still be a champion. But he has, but they they have to they have to lower his competition a little bit, like a he, little bit, a lot, bro, dude, dude. He is damn near ruined. Dude, dude. Are we gonna make a long standing bet with this or some shit? Because I mean, he's, I mean, he's not like he's twenty nine. I'm talking like he's twirling, 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 twirling,
he got hit, dude, dude. It's not like he was covered up and he just got overwhelmed with punches or outwork. He's literally jumping in and catching clean left hooks and one twos to the face, clean like flush, like full fist, all five knuckle type shit. Like, and for you took it for three rounds and he was getting beat up on the ropes. Dude was stutter stepping. At one point, this nigga was swimming while walking. This yeah, nigga literally did the fucking what's that? The freestyle? The like the, he literally did this. Yeah, dude while was walking. Yeah, dude was, was moonwalking everything. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He, like, nigga he moonwalked. He moonwalked forward. He he swam like yeah. nah. I mean, you don't. He's a warrior. Like that, he reacted to them punches. For getting up, you know he's a warrior. But goddamn, he was his legs were super jelly by the time that that ended. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so it's funny you say that because that literally that was a damn TikTok caption. What, somebody said jelly. No, I, when I posted up the video, I was like turned his legs into jello, and then you said, <laughs> <laughs> and I only put like two knockdowns. Like, geez. Yeah, like I said, I mean, do I mean, I mean, like I said, I, I do probably need to take some domestic fights in Australia, like lesser competition. Hell, get a fucking Michael Zarafa or some shit like that. Somebody like that. Nigga, at this point, fight a fucking kangaroo and see if you can handle that. Cause I don't know. I, I probably won't stay up for a Tim Zoo fight, right? <laughs> see the victory. Yeah, we gonna be staying up for the the rain car girls or something else. Cause I don't know. I mean, yeah, Jeffrey, yeah, but, yeah, Tony, yeah. in no way I can stay up for, but I don't know if I can. Stay up for it. I mean, but I mean, either way, because it, it's it's important that you, it, but right now who he faces like it's important. I mean, once obviously the the hundred twenty day suspension is done, because change you don't want to the corner. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Change to the corner has to be you know some tweaks at least because it don't seem like. Well, no, this corner needs to be changed. Did someone needs to give him some defense. And yeah, get him Ben Davidson. <laughs> like if Max like Stewart was around, Max Stewart could have molded it. I mean, I'm saying, you know, there's not that chair no more that you know fix her up or you know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, like pretty much, like because you what you what happens? You don't want Zoo to turn into Dervy and Chenko, who after facing Jacobs, Colke, and then Golovkin, you know, they thought it was a good idea to put him in there with 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 Charlo and then Adamas. Like after that, when do you say that? Because I felt like. Zoo took as much punishment in three rounds as Derby and Chenko did in those three fucking fights. Uh, no, I, I, I want I want to greet you. Okay, uh, take away the Golovkin fight. But I, 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 a bit, but I know what you mean. That that was a big that was a major ass whooping that motherfucker took. I mean, like, dude, like, I, like that was a fucking major ass. <laughs> it, it, it was like, like remember, we thought, remember we thought Banana Rosario on J Rock was bad, but that that's like child's play compared to what we saw. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for, I mean, for three rounds, you know, yeah. But Zoo didn't wasn't disfigured. Durantchenko was disfigured in his eyes. Hey, were I, I know that's why I said okay, take away the Golovkin fight. But if you were to just to say Durantchenko and Jacob, Durantchenko and Cole K, Charlo, yeah, Charlo, and and, and Charlo, you pretty much got the Zoo fight. Yeah. And Derby and Chenko has like his defense is much better than Zoo. Like he got hit clean by them niggas, but not consecutively. Not like when you're like mashing damn buttons on some like okay, bap, 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 bap. like <laughs> these niggas rock 'em sock 'em robots. Like everybody on Twitter had a comment about that shit. I, I see Grant Man was like, oh, what he said, Bakram and Madraw about are the same fighter. I think Madraw more said, talented. Man. Redman, right? I mean, I got his point, but he didn't articulate it the best because niggas was like, "No, nah, they not the same. They completely different fighters." That was a lazy. That was, that was, that was a lazy one by, by, by Redman. I saw that one too. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was lazy. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just great take a lot, but like sometimes, like, what are you talking about? Like, why did you Because if you gotta explain your take like that, then it's not a great one. Yeah. No, I yeah. mean, all those Europe, Eastern European. I want to group them together, but the Kazakhstan and the, um, you know. The other one. <laughs> but those niggas, like, nah, this way more dangerous than Magic Ball. Magic Ball is the type of fighter he'll get in his own head because he has so many tools. He he wants to be super athletic. He wants to be Dan Roy Jones. But hold on, he wants to be Golovkin. He wants to be this. He wants to be... fuck all that. Because when you had your big fight, you was damn playing footsies and jabs. Well, 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 let me ask you real quick, Shadow. Who do you rate uh, out the best out the three of? Of of a uh, Bakram, Madrimov, and Bobachuk. I mean, just, you can say Bakram because it's the oh, one. Uh, oh, Bobachuk, Madrimov, and uh, Bakram. That's what yeah. you said. Yeah, that's who you. Bakram. 
I mean, it's still, he the most me, dangerous out of them all. To me, it's still Madrimov. And I, I've seen more than enough fights by these guys. Uh, but Madrimov is still... Because when I look at when I look at all of them and how they took their biggest fights, one guy exceeded expectations. You know, I know they're making Magic Marvel's bullet chuck uh, as a free Usyk. I think the winner of that give them bullet, give them Bakarov, give that you know the winner yeah, of the fight. No. Back I could yeah. definitely see that. That'd be a great. Bullet is good, but this whole like he like the he gets hurt. I mean, I mean, Brandon Adams is a quality fighter, but we saw Brandon Adams, be, you know, KO him. So it's like, you know, yeah. that, that's the that's the back of my mind. That's good. And Madrimov is good, too. He, he might as well be the most talented out of the bunch. But it's like, it's w- what you could get with that talent. You got to show him, those, I mean, he's versatile, but I mean, an extra gear? I don't know. Something like, I don't know. Maybe if it's- That's what I'm saying. Like, he, he looks the good. Like, he looks the best. Like, the most talented. Like, when you look at him, you think he's going to be the one that g- does it. But Excuse the way Bakram just beat the shit out of this dude, I can't. Madrimov never had a performance like that before. I cannot put him above him. No, it's a great performance. I mean, shit. I mean, it's, it might be the performance of the year, maybe the Bakram right now. I mean, if we had to pick, you know, like a, a, he's a, damn near up there. Yeah, be up there. If you if you treat a seven to one favorite like that, shit. A legend yeah. son. But yeah, in but front the, of him. Well, the, the worst thing about this was like some of the like you know people saying, "Oh, Tim." You know, this was, I mean, we were with Sergio Moore and also for Lou DeBella talking about this is poor matchmaking. And I'm just yeah, like. Yeah, they need to step the fuck up with that. Yeah, it's like, number one, like there's look, there, there's a lot of fights that need that type of energy. But the, the, Tim Zoo's in this is not one of them, like, at all. Like, at all. Like, the man yeah, is fighting 154, for the- you know what you signed up for. Yeah. Yeah, and further, too, people were trying to say, you know, with Sergio Moore, too, is like. You know, they're, they're, they're giving examples of him, I think, ducking uh, Jermaine Taylor back in the day, you know. Yeah, that, now that's bad matchmaking. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he didn't take that fight. Yeah. You got his ass whooped. You, 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 you can't handle fucking Brian Vera because you want to play defensive mode. But Brian fucking Vera, nigga. Yeah, he lost to him twice. I think. <laughs> He's to him twice. Like, God, how many run backs you need with Brian Vera? Like, dude. <laughs> like, come on. Like, and, I, and I'm a Sergio Mora fan, but sometimes I'm just like, bro, like, chill the fuck out. Like, like you're not the, like, you could. See, this is the thing I just, like, I get with these damn back foot boxing ass. I can't punch through a wet paper bag ass niggas. They, they have a bitterness about themselves. Like, and they have a bitterness with the game. You see it with Pauli Milanaji. You see it with fucking um, Sergio Mora. You see it with Andre Ward. Sometimes Andre you Ward. You with Andre Ward. And, and, and Tim Bradley's and all these good careers. Even Tim Bradley's no. Why are all, why are all like the non-50% KO niggas? All, all the commentators. Yeah, like, and, and, and all these niggas had good careers. Even Paulie had a solid career. Two, two division champ. I mean, all these niggas were like a, a champ or two-time champ. Yeah. yeah, like even and some of these niggas in the Hall of Fame. The, you know what I mean? So it's like all this fucking bitterness. Like they see themselves in a nigga like in Zoo or, or, or some shit. And it's like, bro, like Zoo don't see himself in y'all. <laughs> like, so why y'all fucking feeling sorry for this dude? Dude fights like a maniac. He he goes for it, and it, you know it's been good for the division, been good for his career so far until last Saturday. Yeah, like there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's nothing. Like, he fights like a warrior. Like you actually want more fighters to actually fight like a fucking warrior. Like actually want to fight, want to get the right fight. Yeah. Right. Who want to have an entertaining fight? Want to yeah, be talked about that? next week? Y'all want to say that because Tim Zhu lost his bad matchmaking. Y'all, y'all wouldn't have said that otherwise. I mean, like, that's literally a Monday, you know, a Monday morning quarterback shit. Straight, like, at the... Yeah, that, that's all it is. Cause niggas wanted to be right, but they couldn't be right. Like, where were y'all in the beginning of this shit? I, ain't nobody else was calling this shit no fight of the year but ring game. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Most niggas weren't talking about this shit yeah. at all. Like, period. Like, you know, it's like, hey, guys, we have, there's a free PBC card. And it's actually pretty dope. You know, niggas were saying that, like, you know, it's like, come on, like, what are you doing? Like, how come no one's talking about it? Like, but y'all, but y'all want to blow up them platforms of niggas who be pandering, don't know what the fuck they be talking about. 
And then when a fight like this happened and then, you know, shit happening, you, you didn't realize it, it's too late. Like, oh shit, this nigga, he was full of shit. He didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah, it was That's like, what y'all doing now. That's why y'all jumping out the window with these horrendous takes and, oh, they, both these niggas fight the same. Oh, this is that. Oh, this is bad match. Nigga, no, nigga, y'all just horrible at what y'all do. And, and if you're clowning Tim Zhu, then you you also need to get the fuck out of here. Like, they like you like, and I see that too. Like, say it's like, yo, like Tim hasn't done anything that you want motherfuckers to clear. Like, without Tim, like you know, Tim is the reason why PBC had a successful launch off off Amazon Prime, and he's the and, and he's and he's the part probably the only PBC the clear PBC fighter of the year Canada, that that has been produced this year. But y'all not this division. Yeah, yeah, in, in, yeah, in the best division in boxing, but y'all want to clown him. Like, get the fuck out of here. Nah, but what's the, the other shit is, um, um, well, y'all didn't act this way with Haney with the bad matchmaking. This is that. And I'm like, nigga, a bunch of people said Haney should have never fought Ryan Garcia. Get the fuck out of here. A lot of niggas was like, man, like, like that don't entertain this like, clown. That to me is a cherry gone wrong because you know they expected to conquer Ryan Paul's. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't think that's yeah, a I think, I think y'all even said that. I think y'all even said that. Said I mean, what? The, that after Loma, Haney shouldn't have been fighting uh, Garcia. I mean, yeah, I, but I, I, we did say that. I know I said it. Like, I, I, I remember I, they were gonna have y'all, y'all, y'all Garcia like, y'all, and y'all, y'all, wanted, y'all, want, y'all wanted him to go up. I, I believe y'all wanted him to move up and wait. Or, or fight Tia Fimo or, or somebody else. Like, yeah, and, and just the Ryan Garcia, this, this whole circus, you entertained it, and then it's like, you see where it gets you now. But that, I wouldn't even, that's, you could say that's bad matchmaking, but it was one of those where Haney was supposed to beat this guy. It was in the layup. You fought this guy in the amateur, so that's a little different. He was, but, but, he was juiced up. And that, that too, I, that's after the fact shit though. But either way, like it was a money fight for them. I, like, I don't really. We, it's not the worst we, bad match. Can, can, can we still discredit Haney for that loss, even though, well, that no contest, even though the nigga was juiced up? Well, nah, it's, like, it's, already, it's already a no contest. It's already a no contest, but yeah, you can't, when it comes like, to the defense, like you can't even remember him getting. With them eating up with them hooks. I mean, it's on film, but you really can't count it. You know what I'm saying? You really shouldn't like. It really shouldn't be a measurement. It shouldn't be, but that's all we have because this nigga focusing on it all day. Then they trying to do the lawsuit. That's true. Though. Yeah, and then that's the thing. Like, yeah, like it's he cheated and everything, but it's just like with Zoo. Like nobody can just untake the damn images of niggas getting hit with clean punches over and over. Right, and then that's that's the damn the, the tragedy of it. It just this nigga was juiced up when that happened, but we can't get that out of our head. Oh, it's like mm-hmm. like bow, like in zoo zoo gonna have a lot to think about. Yeah, because he shouldn't have touched another ring until like six months. Yeah, no, yeah, he's, he's we definitely won't see him until at least I would say maybe March of 2025 at the earliest, or probably April 2025. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the later, the better, because it's like mm-hmm. you didn't got the division crunk, and for what? Like it didn't serve you, right? Hey, so I know we had a couple of polls on this pause. You know, if someone wants to bring them up, if well, which one? Let me see. The Hold first on. one, and then the second one. Any order? Mm. <laughs> All right. So oh. the, first, the first one is oh, we got eighteen votes, six days <laughs> left. Uh, do you think Tim Zhu is a victim of bad matchmaking? 22% says yes. 78% says no. He's not a victim. Yeah, no. Damn. You can't beat a 7 to 1 underdog? Is that my fault or your fault? <laughs> like, shit. That. Fuck. 7 to 1 underdog, bro. Mm-hmm. Bad matchmaking, my left foot, nigga. I'm gonna move your goddamn head and throw some feints off that jab. I mean, I voted for uh, no, it's not. Did y'all vote for no for that one? Of course. Hell fucking no. Well, somebody said yes. He wasn't a a victim. Why the fuck would he be a victim? (laughs) 
a victim of bad you defense. Title, I mean, you got, title, you got a title shot after losing. I mean, I know the loss was a little muddled, you know, but it was, you got a title I mean, shot he after. fought a nigga. <laughs> he defended his title uh, <laughs> against it's, a nigga it's, it's, like, it's, it's unfortunate, but he's, I mean, it, it is what it is. But he's, he's in no way, shape, or fit. So, no, let's cut, cut the shit. Yeah, everybody with eight pieces on Twitter, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, no, the yeah, because there's a whole lot of that bullshit. Like, nah, like you, you want more, you want more zoos to actually take more risks in their division and fight in their division and fight the right fights in their division and shit if like that. If that's bad matchmaking, what the fuck would have been good matchmaking? Uh, I'm saying, like, yeah. Yeah, and, and I get it. Making proper magic ball, nigga. And and I get it too, because I, I know legitimately. I know because I see it on Twitter, like the Australian, like the whole boxing community, think it's bad matchmaking. Because, like I said, because we mentioned before, like the, the Australian fighters are really treated like royalty. Because I remember we had the issue before with Joseph Parker. Like we we said some stuff about Joseph Parker or Jay Apatow, one of them, and you know the Australians came for us in the comments about that shit. You know, motherfuckers calling us all types of names and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, was, I, I think, think it was the Joseph Parker and um Joe Joyce. It was the other other guy who other fight um it was uh, it was, a, it was New Zealand ass fight. nigga. It was up it was it was Jaya Patea, the other one. But the, but I think we were talking we were talking about we were previewing Parker and Joe Joyce. And you know, we all thought Joe Joyce Yeah, was yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. And, was, and, the, and the Australians who listened to that had a lot to say. Like the comments, like I, I've never seen so many Hidden comments and shit like that. I was reviewing them. Motherfuckers was calling us names and all types of other shit. I was just you. Like, you'd have thought we had a bad review on the Eminem album. Like damn. Yeah, and then of course, it, and then of course, you know, Joseph Parker gets knocked out, and then some of them came back and like, you know, yeah, you were right. You know, it's like yeah, and, and, and then you got to see because yeah, the the boxers in Australia they mean a lot to Australia. So Zoo being obviously, you know, he's the son of a legend. And he's also a you know, former champion. and you know, and he's an entertaining fighter, so it's like just to have him just get beat down like that uh, on national TV. That shit, you know, yeah, that shit is kind of yeah. They're, they're not gonna be quiet about that shit for a minute, for a while. Yeah, they're just gonna be uh, Liam Perro fans now. Yeah. <laughs> who who is also going to be the um, the next uh, big money uh, bet? Yeah. Like, um, he'll he'll probably stop hitchens. So y'all, y'all get y'all checkbooks ready for that one. Like all my derelicts and my gamblers out there. Like, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's that fights in December, so I'm not even gonna look at the odds for that now. I might, I'll wait till like. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll wait, but we know that's 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 gonna be one of those. There's another other fight like that too. I can't remember who it is. Is um somebody? Is another? Is another one of those like he should whoop their ass type of fights. In Australia, maybe I'm thinking about uh, Robisi and Ramirez. I mean, oh, Robisi yeah. and um, Espinosa. No, oh, I mean, I mean that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that one's gonna be a war, but yeah, I don't think that, I don't think that one's gonna be a gimme. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking. So. But yeah, yeah. Anyways, that Paro is gonna have a lot of damn Australian fans now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so, um, so hopefully he could uh, make yeah. use of it. I mean, him and Apatai. But Apatai's cruiserweight. It's like nobody. The cruiserweight doesn't get that. I don't know. It's a division that you know. I don't know. It's like it's like the. He American and Apatai got to fight in America, bro, I'm and get part, some part, names. Yeah, but I'm saying like you know, like, cruiserweight's like you know the Cleveland Cavaliers of of uh, boxing division. You know what I'm saying? It's a cap. Yeah. Well, it's never been an American centric division, but it's been it's been a top division. Well, but it's it's a great fights, yeah. But I'm saying cruiserweight's like you know. Yeah, you know, but he needs. Fighting on fighting in these other places ain't doing nothing to raise his profile. So like, put him on a good undercard or a good co-main in America, and you know, kind of switch up the damn. He's a solid fighter. He's a rider season fighter. I mean, that's all we see him on. Is yeah, like he, it's like these niggas just gonna have a career at this level just doing that. Like, and, and you seen the news about the whole? Um, I guess the backers. <clears throat> Lost money, so they're like, "Look, you got to do these re- Riyadh season fights in Saudi Arabia. Like, the this California ain't no fucking Arabia. world tour. Like, you going to Cali? The California, yeah. Shit. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? It's probably the UK shit too. I mean, the UK had sold out, but I'm saying they probably lost money on the UK shit too. The Dubois, the Dubois yeah. AJ shit, honestly. 
But dude, like, yo, in Saudi Arabia, the atmosphere is like trash for fights. Yeah, that Golden Boy card is like top tier in Mexico or in Cali. In Saudi Arabia, that shit is like bum fights, volume one or something. Yeah, you can see. I mean, you know, sometimes you see it looking lit, the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like I miss fucking. Dude, if my fucking room, I'm watching the fight and it's more lit than the goddamn arena, then there's a problem. <laughs> God, break his fucking like a tank fight, so you know, like, you can tell a tank fight vibes is, is the nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I need, I, I want my flashing lights and and this and that. I want my pizzazz and shit. The, but, I want to see the bitch in the fishnets. Yeah, I did the bitch in the fishnet. Like, like I mean, like the damn, we, we, we like the damn pro box ring cards. I mean, give us that shit. But nah, y'all niggas be having the goddamn. Um, Truth no, hurts no. ass covered up fucking um ankles, ring man. car girls. Don't show your ankles. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't, don't show your ankles. You fucking get the fuck out of here. The goddamn bullshit ass presentation. But I ain't gonna lie, Aaron been going off. Um, but, but the, the fuck baby is, shit. It, it is the fuck you want to see. You know, if you're losing, better be false fucks. We want to see for years. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I don't know. No, Turkey, he did his thing. It's just I felt like he put too much extras on the shit. Like, oh, like oh, the, oh, the rap, the rap shit. Yeah, I missed yeah, all that other shit. shit, nigga. Like, I don't. You, you know, you giving away cars at fights. You putting yourself in a fucking video game for no reason. You getting special belts made. You adding concerts that nobody wanted for fights. Like, I just feel bills. Was that, shit. that shit was trash. That belt, the better be Bivol belt. That shit was. Trash. Yeah, on this video. Like, this is ugly ass goddamn late era WWF belt the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, matter of fact, that damn WWF belt is better than that shit. This shit Pastor Troy used to be wearing on the truck. Like, fuck <laughs> this belt, nigga. Bullshit ass shit. You know, but, uh, but yeah, that was it. Uh, and then we have one more, we have one more poll, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, 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 one more. Who, like, who's the best world champion? So yeah, the, no, the, 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 the one, the one, the one that Virgil should have been on that. List. The one, yeah, the, the yeah. one that the, the fake champ Virgil should have been on. Sure, but hold on, I had to. <laughs> right. We did the ask fat with better defense than fucking Tim Zoo light up up ass like Ooh, nigga. Zoo, you know, forty votes, six days left. Asking who was the best world champion at one fifty four between Terrence Crawford, Bakker Murtazalia, and Sebastian Fundora with Fundora again twelve percent, Bakram. 10 and Terrence Bill Crawford at 78. Yeah, yeah we're gonna see. I mean, I mean, it's, you know, it's, not, it's off merit for me, but I love, I'm a Bud fan, but you know, Bud is only one, one fight at 154, so it's like I voted for him, but it's mostly off merit. <laughs> it's off merit, you know, it's mostly off merit, you know what I'm saying? 154 yeah, is I, like, mean, I mean, Fandora's putting enough work on there, but he's also, he's also a guy that's in the yellow right now when he starts in the ring, right? you know. Yeah. When, when you when your last fight is you have somebody bleeding but they're still making you bleed from your eyes your nose and your mouth you got a problem. Yeah. So, yeah, Ortiz got Ortiz yeah. WBC but you got dropped twice in your last fight. I, it's, and you some people say you got to get so. nigga. No matter what you say, can't void the fact that you should have put him on. The and we could have threw Jamil Charlo in the mid. I know. I wish. I think you should say go to one sixty, but you know he's gonna stay on fifty four because he's a quote unquote lineal if you want to use that word. You know. Man, yeah, Jamal Charlo trains too much. Huh? He trains too much to move up. Like he's gonna go, he's gonna find himself at one fifty four. Cause ain't no way he'd have that sense of shitty performance against Canelo if he truly was moving up. Well, the rumors he's fighting Jesus Ramos as the, as the co-man from Morel Benavides. So. I that's mean, it, it's so. whatever right now. But Mel has Mel. Yeah, has, that's a, that's a good ass co-man, but I don't I don't believe that. This is a strong. I mean, he, you know, Ramos retweeted. That's his own right. main event, though. Yeah, it should be a free one. But it's gonna see, be I, see, I can, see right now because Mel just Mel just put me so much against Canelo. I can't give my I can't I can't care about who he's fighting now until he kind of gets his gets the eye of the tiger back because that motherfucker really shit the bed against Canelo and that pisses me off so much. He yeah. To, yeah. Well, I mean, they, they did mention though that he, yeah on the broadcast he's gonna be come back in January, so it makes sense that he. Yeah, no, but it's like it didn't seem like they was like sure though. Like I didn't yeah, see the whole broadcast. They just threw it out there. They just threw it out there. Yeah, it was just like a random like uh, uh, we need to fill in this news segment with news. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, that nigga fighting in uh, January. Remember him? Like 
Yeah, that, the, <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, is, dude hasn't been in the ring in a year. He's he's clearly probably spending his Canelo money, and it's just like, yeah, I, I can't I can care less what he does now. Because oh, he's beating his fucking ex wife or something. I don't know. I mean, him versus his drama is a pretty good fight. It's a hell of a tune up. I, I mean, I'd favor Jermaine to win, but you know, I'm that's like, not yeah. even that's not a tune up. That's that's Vitalik Pitko defending his belt against Sam Peter type of shit. Tough fight. You're coming out of retirement, but you're still the champ. Are you fighting a puncher, hungry motherfucker? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I hope he rebuilds, but yeah, Drew's gonna have to show me that he 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 wants his boxing shit again, or he's hungry again. But I can't, you know, because he disappointed me too much. I like, Drew had a it, whole, <laughs> Drew had a legacy fight. Drew had a chance to probably put Canelo to bed, and he let and, he, and, he, and instead Canelo looks probably the best he look he's looked in years. And beats him down. Like, I, that's just still in. It's like, yeah. Oh, it's for that before. He tasted that and power. And power. honestly, get the same. See, seeing how the zoo looked against Bob Club, that kind of showed me a little bit. Like, I felt like that's kind of how, like, a Charlo fight would have went out. Like, Charlo would have just pieced him in between punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uppercuts and counters. Like, maybe they would have looked more explosive. But, or, yeah. Like, or, or, or people were talking about Keith Thurman, like part of the reason why Keith wanted to find him because Keith, you know, is a mover and stuff like that, and Zoo doesn't know how to handle that. You know, they were they, people. A lot of people, a lot of people were mentioning that. I swear I didn't hear Keith much on commentary. I know he was out on commentary, but I swear I never heard him much uh, during the and Speaking of that, Keith, Keith, Keith needs to calm down with some of the shit they be talking about sometimes. Yo, bro, be rambling too much. <laughs> Nigga was really rambling near the end of the shit. Like, bro, like, did you just spit a, a lyrical miracle type of shit, nigga? Just say what you had to say about the fight. Keep it moving. Like, you know. <laughs> he's, I mean, good, he, he's, he's good, but he's good. He does ramble on some Chris, Chris Webber shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro, like, yeah, you, 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 you can talk about the sport. Yeah, I don't mind you talking, but, you know, someone needs to kind of cut this nigga off. Like, okay, that's enough, Keith. He said, let this motherfucker ramble about some... some he, 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 he does be getting his killer priest on sometimes. Like, I, I, I fucking it keep it. <laughs> it's the enthusiasm he has for boxing because he's not fighting. <laughs> so that energy has to come out some way, and it comes out in the commentary. That, that let me know this nigga wants to still box and fight. It just... For whatever reason, it's not happening. No, his body won't let him. Like his, but he can't get through a training cut without getting injured. Like his body. Won't nobody want to. Ram- nobody's gonna ramble like that and don't want to box. You know what I mean, like, nah, nigga. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I hope. I mean, I hope that he's. I mean, he, he doesn't. He didn't look like he was out of shape, you know. But it's like you know, he's thirty six years old. Time is not on his side. Like you, you, he got. He got to make some move, you know, or else you know that's just gonna be it. His body's got yeah, to what do. You know, but overall, as a show, though, like I mean, it, 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 it like for PBC's first free show, it, it, it basically it, it went the way you're supposed to. The pacing Eight was good. Months. Yeah, the, the the fights were good. You know, it, it, it buzzed. It, even though the atmosphere was like, you know, it was like ECW arena type shit. You know, so it just like, yeah. like it was also like you needed a. To, uh, say a password at the door to get into the motherfucker, like, right? <laughs> it looked like some damn back alley. Like, hey, man, the fights, like, look, nigga, the, the fights yeah. be lit over here. The, the drinks be cheap. Mm-hmm. They let you smoke inside the club. Yo, come and join us. And it's like, all right, oh, this the password, though. <laughs> <laughs> and they let you in. You go through a little dark hallway. And then you're mm-hmm. like, yeah, what is. I think they got those in New York. What is it called? Where it's like a restaurant, but you say a password, and then it's like a, cl- a club, like an after party shit. What's it called? I know it, it got. Eyes like a name. I don't know, nigga. No, it got like a name for it. It's like a, a name of a of a of a business or some shit. It's called like like a haberdashery, like haberdashery or some shit like that. Haberdashery. I mean, I just call I, I just call it an after hour spot or. If it's Asian, like a dim sum, dim sum spot, like you know where I go, you know I used to go to. You, get, you dip your dim into some sum, you know what I mean. Yo, them shits, yeah, them shits used to be great because there was one near my old apartment in downtown Worcester. I used to go there. They, that shit used to be open to like three, four o'clock in the morning. That shit used to be 
drinking big ass scorpion bowls and chilling, bro. That shit was no, no, you, you was on your Robert Kraft shit. I feel you, nigga. <laughs> I hope you didn't have no uh, rapper doing bunny hops for you though. Nah, <laughs> no nah, hell no. Nah. That, that shit was just that right. shit was just a straight vibe. I don't make it your mixtape, but hmm, cut a jig for me, as in like. Right. <laughs> like damn. Is, it, is it exactly how it is online? Because I've never seen it, but is it exactly how it is like in the movies and shit? No, nah, I mean, it was mad people. It wasn't like I mean, if there was some shit like that, I didn't go there. I, I was gonna be there for the food and the, and the scorpion bowl and the atmosphere, and then walk my ass back to my apartment. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes with somebody, but you know, I mean, that's the here or there. You know, so you know, yeah, I, I, yeah, I behaved myself. I didn't do any of that legal shit. Like I, I know better to ask questions about some shit that I see that I, I, I know that's not like yeah, I better leave that shit alone. <laughs> yeah. You know, but that the, that PVC card though, like, you know, like I said, I mean, having boxing end at ten thirty, I was like, God damn, like, what the hell do I do with myself? You know, like that, like, yeah. Then he's then I just watched the movie afterwards, but it, it hit though. Yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I like, said, I, I finished watching. I was watching baseball afterwards. So I was like, okay, let me get get back to baseball. Yeah, I mean, I was watching a little bit of college football. There was a couple of close games, so you know. Yeah, so but that's how it is. So like, I feel like. Boxing shouldn't have to I, boxing shouldn't have to dominate the whole Saturday night. Like let it come on on a respectable time, go off a respectable time. What was the top ring card that ended up like at ten thirty my time? That was like one thirty y'all time. It was a recent top ring card. I felt maybe like. a mayor fight. Was, the, no, it wasn't the man. Was it the, yeah? It was the mayor. Nigga, that ended late, bro. That might have been it. That was done like at ten thirty. I mean, my time. That was like probably like past, well, well past midnight y'all time. Like way past midnight y'all time. I swear to God. Yeah, like, like, like you know, it, it, like I said, it was good that this this car just flew and was in and out, grand opening, grand closing, very quick. Yeah. Fights were good. The commentary didn't offend me, so you know, it was good. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the point. The commentary is not offending people. Brian Cust, you know, Brian Custer and um, Jimmy Lennon, you know, it's it's like it boxing. It's like you know. Yeah, you need, you need them two niggas. You need you, know, you need you need them two. Them two keeps, you know, it's, it seems like boxing's bad that way. I don't know. PBC just knows how to do the production and just it just yeah, has yeah, that yeah. arc that all these other places just don't be having like that. Like it's just interviewing Zeus is kind of crazy after after that beatdown. Interviewing Zeus is kind of crazy though. But I mean, like, why are they doing that? Like, I don't think you should be. Nigga, that's part of the job. Like, bro, I just I just feel like it's one of those. If someone gets beat that bad, make it an easy interview. Let it go kind of oh, quickly. Oh, no. Pilot's one of those people that doesn't think the loser should get interviewed at all. No, I mean, sometimes... No, no, no. no, no it's no, that no. type of whooping he got, bro. Not, 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 if you, not if you get beat bad. Not if you get beat. So so what were you thinking? Because how incoherent he's going to be, bro. Come on. Yeah, Because no, a lot of the times, I mean, like... I mean, sometimes, yeah, when a loser guy loses, you know, but you, there's times where, like, it's a bad beatdown, they don't interview the loser. It's kind of just, I mean, right maybe if it's like a big time, big time fight, you got to. But yeah. other than that, no, it's like, yo, let that nigga, <laughs> let that nigga ease up. If it was that bad that he couldn't speak, then he would have been stretched out. Yeah, like, yeah, you're right. People, you know, <laughs> I mean, I feel you, but it's like, dude, dude. But see, y'all be, King P would be the type of nigga who asks, like, so I heard in the fighter meeting, it's your daughter's birthday. So how do you feel about this birthday gift of a performance? <laughs> oh no no no! You will say I you guys will say some shit no, like no, that. No. Nigga done got the life beaten out of him, and you ask the no. So what did you feel was the difference in this left hook in the second round in no, the third chill, round? Chill, I'm I'm not Jim Gray. Chill, chill. <laughs> you remember, you remember <laughs> nah, because if you that press for the because if, if you that press for an interview and a nigga got whooped like that, you dying to say some off the wall shit. You remember Jordan Plant was interviewing after Pitbull beat up Rolly, and it wasn't Easter, but. Rolly said, "Happy Easter, everybody." Yeah, yeah. That shit was Easter, was it? Wasn't even. I swear, it wasn't Easter. It might have been. Well, I mean, I mean, how many people? Be honest. How many people want to hear from the loser, nigga? You want to hear from the winner, unless the loser. Well, no, no. If if the loser is a headliner, yeah, yeah. yeah, That's what I say. If the loser is a headliner, then we still want to hear from. I mean, Rolly and yeah, we still. But I just feel like it's in doses. Like, I wouldn't be expecting no, no, no crazy ass questions in. Yeah, I mean, like, don't go all in on that like, shit. Like Earl Spence, they let Earl Spence talk after he got his ass molly Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah he nah, was up there. He could barely speak. 
No, nah, that fight was so big that both of them had to talk. Win, lose. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But still, he, he could barely speak. But still, he, that's an example of one that you got to hear from the nigga no matter what. Yeah. But with the one, the way this one was, it was one of those, if Zoo would have been just, if they would have just carried Zoo to the dressing room, nobody would have been like, hey, hey, Zoo, can we get... Nah, that, <laughs> that's okay. Like, you, 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 you got that. Like, you, had, you had your time. You had your time. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You know, you know, it's it's funny that we're saying this. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's funny that it's being said now because you know I remember like 12 years ago when uh, when Broner walked out after he lost to um, to Maidana. People were like, oh, you're a sore loser. You don't want to talk. Yada yada yada. Like, I thought that shit was lost. Oh. But I mean, his jaw was visibly broken too. Like, and he clearly lost. Like, I get it. But I mean, like we seen Kota do some diva, diva shit, and don't take nowhere near the beating. And after all that shit, he was talking. It's like, yo, how? Why? Why would I sit here and say some shit right now? I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Hey, let me, let me go Y'all back there and think of some shit to yeah. say. Right. When you that arrogant, that's some shit they do, nigga. <laughs> and then your jaw is broken. Like, damn, like. It's funny because I'm, I'm, I'm reading Muhammad Ali's uh, book he wrote and I'm at the part where like he just lost to Ken Norton and got his jaw broken. He's speaking on how like the whole world was basically like, yeah, 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 you lost. Yeah, you shut your mouth, didn't he? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why you ain't that? He's like, he got to hear that shit through like the hallway, the hospital, outside. Damn. <laughs> That's, and, that's and, 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 and the loss traumatized his wife at the time so bad, like she had to go to the hospital. Like she kept saying, Muhammad Ali is dead, he's dead. I can't believe it. Like they had to put her in the hospital. Like shit was I was like, God damn. It was like it's different. Ken Norton, like people people kind of like, I right, Fraser beat you or this nigga could beat you. These are top guys. Like Norton, you let the local boy beat you. Like you nothing. Like I was like, God damn. <laughs> Like, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting, real, real good read. So, um, definitely recommend that shit. What's the title, yeah. nigga? You just said it was Muhammad Ali's book. What's the name of it? Fucking, nigga? um, is it an autobiography or somebody? Yeah, my own story. It is only Ali's book there. It's the only Ali book there is. The greatest, Muhammad Ali with Richard Durham with revealing photo section. Um, oh, yeah. so, it's a, so it's a biography. Well, he literally, I, well, what's the one where they write themselves, oh, but somebody man. helped them write it? No, if they write it themselves, it's an autobi- Isn't that autobi- autobiographical? Yeah. I mean, he is Muhammad Ali. He, yeah. he wrote the motherfucker. Like, he wrote it. Like, this is Muhammad Ali's words. Ain't somebody wrote it for him. Okay, right. Okay, bet. And it showed all the fight purses, like, the money he made, like, for each fight. I'm like, damn, niggas is making bank. Motherfucker was making like 500k for that Norton fight. Niggas was making bread, like. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, yeah. Muhammad Ali, nigga, the greatest. Yeah, Muhammad Ali made a lot of money, but of course, you know, he he lost a lot of it by the time he retired for a lot of different reasons. But I won't I won't digress yeah. too much into that, you know, into that part, you know. But uh, history lesson. No, <laughs> <laughs> but yo, one more part I'll, I'll add from the book real quick before we transition because he did say history lesson. The part when he's in the hospital, like Muhammad Ali goes to the hospital right after that fight. Somehow Ken Norton and Eddie Fudge, they they end up going to the visit him and like they allow him in there and he convinced Ali to take a picture. And Cause he's like, yeah, I want to put my grandchildren's a uh, photo album. They used a picture to put it all on the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Yo, y'all niggas ain't shit. Here I am. I let you in the hospital room to be on some like, yeah, young and you got me. Yeah, take the picture. This for the kids. <laughs> and then these niggas like, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, they ran to every newspaper like, yeah, nigga, we humbled this motherfucker. <laughs> it should have just wow, but there was an interesting thing of uh, Eddie Futch has said to Muhammad Ali, and Muhammad Ali asked him, "It's like, damn man, I just the first time one of your fighters beat me. I be I always beat all your fighters." And Norton said, "Maybe because he lo- he likes me." 
And Fuzz said, I like all my fighters. He's like, man, you got to. If you don't love your fighters, like, you're not going to care about them like that. You'll, he said, I know managers and trainers that they they don't like their fighters. They be sending them out there to get their ass whooped, but they be happy about it. <laughs> but he's like, yo, man, he's like, he said, if I have a guy and I'm training him, if I don't fall in love with that fighter in three months, I let him go. I don't care how much potential, how much money he could make. I just let him go because it's not going to work. And I'm like, that's some real shit. Yeah, well, well, he, he's he's one of the few that's like that because most most coaches are not like most trainers are definitely yeah. not like that. That That's true. You know, cause we lost recipes, niggas. Fuck, I need that check, nigga. But yeah, yeah I, just, I just thought shit, it was shit. I mean, even the guys like fucking. I mean, but then they, maybe they show it in different ways, like because like fucking Teddy Atlas. You couldn't tell. Like I was, uh, he hated how the motherfuckers he trained, but that's just his style. But it's just like it was just funny. But he didn't show like he really fucked with them. But you know what? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to really think he did hate his fighters. Like I, I know that's his personality, but I ain't gonna lie. If somebody would have came and told me on the side, like yo. He don't be giving a fuck about us niggas here. Like, I would not argue with. I'd be like, yeah, I, I can see yeah, that. Like, 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 you can't, like, you can't, like, you can't tell me that he that he really likes Michael Moore because it seemed like he did not fuck with that motherfucker at all. <laughs> do, do you want to trade places? Do you want me to fight for you? I'm like, yo, <laughs> like, he, yo that nigga was fucking him. too fucking greasy. <laughs> but the funny thing is too, Michael Moore actually. Like, like, really, truly respected Teddy Alice, which is the crazy thing. Like, and Michael Moore doesn't like nothing. There's like nobody. Like, fucking facts. That's yeah. facts. That, well, I, mean, I, I know mean, I mean, personal I mean, reference I mean, as facts. Nigga. That's. I mean, but the funny thing is, that's kind of the personality that he needs. He kind of needs somebody like like Teddy to balance his his personality. So that's why it's funny because they they balance each other out. But it's like, damn, like he hating with that motherfucker. He needed that spark, but this seemed like Teddy be going overboard, but. Once I seen how Michael Moore trains with my own eyes, because I used to box at the same gym he was training at. Once I seen how he would get in there and, and, and shadow box the fucking Jaheen's full album and shadow box in slow motion, I understood. Like, yes. Because I was training with him around the time after he just lost to David Tour. Mm. So to give you a time reference, and yeah, all this... Walking out, the slow shadow, nah, bro, that ain't, you know, you, boxing ain't fucking Tai Chi, nigga. Now, on the flip side, a guy like, I always felt like a guy like Buddy McGirt, Buddy McGirt kind of seemed like he cared about his fighter. Shit, he saved some of his fighter. <laughs> he saved yes, some yeah, of I, them. I, I, I feel you on that. He said some of them. Yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 Paul, he's, 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 he